Yeah, well, we'll start out with my hummingbird garden here. And we have Cardinal Climber and a mix of Chapia Ignea and uh, somewhere under there there is some petunias and some other stuff. Walking around, see the feeder in the background there. A little basket of all kinds of stuff here. They uh, won't necessarily feed on all these, but eh, makes for a nice basket. Again, lots of Chapia Ignea, lots of uh, Cardinal Climber especially. Kind of planted these with the intention that they would be in full bloom about this time, about time for migration, and it looks like that's about worked out. And you can see down here we have our, our starter row where the young plants are. And going on down the line here, more of the same. Three large planters with Chapia Ignea and lots of uh, Cardinal Climber, especially right in there. You can see all the Cardinal Climber right there. And as we rotate around, we have our table, which has become more of a plant stand. Again, lots of Chapia Ignea, also some Raging Cajun. We've got uh, several of those. It's an older Raging Cajun here that we've survived from last year, kept it going. Come back around more and Chapia Ignea. Another basket, more Cardinal Climber, and uh, lots of Cardinal Climber here. There's our other basket. See our other basket with lots of goodies in it, lots of stuff. And then we come over here to our big area where all of our chapias are growing in the sun, getting sun, flowering. Our real plant stand, which has a combination of chapia ignea, I think there's one petunia, there's a Raging Cajuns, you can see the flower on the Raging Cajuns, very nice. And to top it off, we have two older chapias that uh, we've saved back just in case we lose the ones in the planters. And last but not least, one hanging basket with petunias and chapia ignea.